we are watching a video on how cultivation is practiced on vast extensive plains using modern farming techniques now this type of mechanized farming is practiced on the plains or treeless grasslands of usa and canada now do you know what is meant by grasslands and where are they found on earth well a grassland refers to a treeless region almost like the one we saw in the previous video now these treeless regions that are located in the temperate zone are known as temperate grasslands now these temperate grasslands are located between 40 to 55 degrees north and south of the equator so temperate grasslands is a type of biome that is located in the temperate zone and on both the hemispheres now if you remember earlier we read about tropical grasslands now both temperate and tropical grasslands refer to treeless regions but both are different on the basis of their location this is to say that temperate grasslands are called so because they are located in the temperate zone as we can see here while tropical grasslands are located in the tropical zone that is between both the tropics that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so temperate grasslands are located in the temperate zone while tropical grasslands are located in the tropical zone now in this map the regions marked in light green refer to temperate grasslands while the regions marked in darker shade of green depict the tropical grasslands now as we can see here the temperate grasslands are spread across several continents of the world and there they are known by different names let's know about them so as mentioned just now temperate grasslands are spread across several continents of the world and they have special names in different continents for instance temperate grasslands are known as prairies in north america while in south america they are known as pampas in the continents of europe and asia that is eurasia they are known as steppes in the southern part of africa they are known as wells now temperate grasslands are also present in the southeastern parts of australia and there they are known as downs so in this map we can see the entire location of temperate grasslands and here we can see that the temperate grasslands are located almost in all the continents we shall now discuss about the climatic conditions of temperate grasslands but before we proceed with our lesson let us see if we can answer this temperate grasslands are also known as dash in north america is it known as pampas steps downs or prairies what do you think well the correct answer is prairies another name for temperate grasslands in north america is prairies now this chart displays the climatic conditions of temperate grasslands now let me tell you that temperate grasslands experiences two distinct seasons that is summer and winter during summer the temperatures are usually very high and it ranges from 25 to 30 degree celsius on an average now during winter as we can see here there is significant drop in temperature and sometimes it also drops below freezing point thus here we can see that there is wide variations in summer and winter temperatures thus the mean annual range of temperature of this biome is very high and it ranges from 20 to 25 degree celsius so 20 to 25 degree celsius is the slab for mean annual range of temperature of temperate grasslands now mean annual range of temperature refers to the difference between summer and winter temperatures so let us calculate the mean annual range of temperature and for this purpose we need to select a summer month say july and a winter month say february so the range of temperature 
as we know is the difference between maximum temperature and minimum temperature well the maximum temperature for our selected month as we can see here is 32 degree celsius so the maximum temperature is 32 the minimum temperature for our selected month is 7 so 32 minus 7 degree celsius so 32 minus 7 is equal to 25 degree celsius so 25 degree celsius refers to the mean annual range of temperature so as i just mentioned the mean annual range of temperature of temperate grasslands are usually very high this indicates wide variations in summer and winter temperatures now not only the temperature conditions vary seasonally but also there is seasonal variations in precipitation pattern now as we can see in this chart it mostly rains during summer months but the rate of precipitation is not very high it usually ranges from 25 to 60 centimeter so the average rate of rainfall received by temperate grasslands is not very high which means that this region and almost an arid region now the winter months are comparatively drier than the summer months and the most common form of precipitation during winter is snowfall because during winter as we can see the temperature sometimes drops below freezing point as a result precipitation occurs in the form of snowfall Another point to be noted about the climatic conditions of temperate grasslands is that the summers are short-lived whereas winter prevails for longer part of the year. So based on the temperature and precipitation patterns of this biome, we can conclude that temperate grasslands experiences warm moist summer that is high temperature as well as average amount of rainfall and this summer is short lived whereas it also experiences cold dry winter which prevails for longer duration now cold dry winter implies that both temperature and rate of precipitation is very low during winter months so overall we can say that temperate grasslands experience cool and dry climatic conditions we shall now see what impact these climatic conditions have on the vegetation and lifestyle of people living in this biome well, due to unfavorable climatic conditions, that is low annual rainfall and cold long winters, this biome has evolved into a treeless region, that is temperate grasslands are devoid of tall trees because the annual rate of rainfall is very low. In fact, one can find long variety of grasses in this biome. Now grass is a type of vegetation that is dominated by short plants which has long and narrow leaves so grasses are mostly predominant in temperate grasslands now since a wide variety of grasses are found in temperate grasslands therefore they serve as excellent grazing grounds that is the grasses that grow in this region are viewed as excellent fodder crops so Grazing animals like horses, bisons, prairie dogs, etc. feed on these grasses. Now, although grasses grow in temperate grasslands in abundance, but apart from them, some short trees can also be found in this region, especially beside a water body. And some of these trees are willows, alders, poplars etc and these trees are only found along a water body now if you remember we watched this video at the beginning of this lesson i mentioned that such mechanized farming is usually practiced in the temperate grasslands or prairies of usa and canada now owning to mechanized farming techniques on vast extensive plain this region is able to provide bulk of wall's wheat and other food grains and therefore the prairies of usa and canada is rightly termed as granaries of the world 
So in the previous slide, we saw how cultivation is practiced using modern farming techniques. Now since the farmers of temperate grasslands mostly pursue mechanized farmings, therefore they are able to grow a wide variety of crops. In fact, most of the world's food grains come from these temperate grasslands. Now some important crops that are cultivated in these regions are wheat, cotton, maize, barley, in fact oats etc. Now since a wide variety of crops are cultivated in temperate grasslands therefore we can infer that agriculture is the most important occupation of the people living in temperate grasslands. Now as mentioned earlier the farmers of temperate grasslands mostly pursue modernized farming techniques in order to increase their crop yield. So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on temperate grasslands. In today's lesson, we discussed about various characteristics of temperate grasslands like its location, climate, vegetation and human adaptations. Initially, we discussed that these vast treeless regions are located in the temperate zone of the world and therefore they are known as temperate grasslands. Then we discussed that the climate of temperate grasslands are characterized by warm wet summer and cool dry winter. Now due to scanty rainfall and long cool winters, temperate grasslands are usually devoid of tall trees. Instead, a wide variety of grasses grow in these regions. Temperate grasslands favors cultivation of wide variety of crops using modern farming techniques. Therefore, mechanized agriculture is mostly practiced by people living in temperate grasslands. So this is all about today's discussion on temperate grasslands. In our next lesson, we will discuss about another biome that is tiger region. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.